Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Verse, uh, Psalm 40, verses 6 through 8 here. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burn offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come, and the scroll of the book is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God, and your law is within my heart. Now the psalmist is not saying, Do not sacrifice. But he's clearly saying that even under the law, the faith walk was to be a matter of the heart. The reference to opened ears here pictures obedience and dedication, but not just outward, but from the heart. Verses 7 and 8 no doubt apply to David in the immediate context, but in Luke 24, 27, and John 5, 39 through 46, also are seen to apply to the son of David, Jesus the Christ. The writer of Hebrews in, in Hebrews 10, 5 through 7 describes these very verses to the Messiah himself. He was truly an obedient son from the heart. I recall a number of years ago, a well-known football coach wrote a book on a rekindling of his marriage. One thing that burned into my mind was that he went home one day and his wife was tired of playing third string to his career, and the rose in her heart had all but died. She said, I will be your wife and take care of the family, but I can no longer be intimate with you and pretend to love you. Not an exact quote, but you get the drift. The rose had about died. She did her household stuff and hung in there, but the flame was gone. The resulting change of action on his part, over time, restored that flame. Listen, in the set of verses here, God is saying, I don't want that sort of relationship. I want you to live with me out of love. I want your heart to be in love with me. Revelation uh, chapter 2, Jesus speaks to the church uh, that has the best of everything. Modern churches would love this reputation. They exercised spiritual discernment. They stayed faithful to the Word. Probably had the biggest Sunday school as well. But their seeming perfection was not enough. They had excelled at the church growth seminars, but had substituted programs for passion, duty for devotion. They had left their first love. The law of love for believers is to love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. So if the psalmist tells us, God doesn't just want your actions, but you love Jesus as much as you did in the past. Maybe you need to start back at the place where you just let God love you, even if you don't feel worthy. And then you can remember your first love. You're part of that. That's just the